Hi, my name is Katie Agri, and I am a genetic counselor at Mayo Clinic with a focus in cardiology, and specifically, I see patients with a diagnosis of hereditary amyloidosis, like transthyretin or TTR amyloidosis. TTR amyloidosis is a hereditary condition that causes buildup of proteins in various tissues, like the heart, kidneys, and nerves. If you have a diagnosis of TTR amyloidosis, genetic counseling could be an important part of your care. Because TTR amyloidosis is a genetic condition, this could be something that is important for your relatives. TTR amyloidosis is caused by changes, or what we call mutations, within the TTR gene. Knowing which mutation is in your family can be important, as different mutations can cause different symptoms of the disease. Knowing what symptoms you or your family members may experience can be important for your management now and in the future. Many people meet with a genetic counselor when they know that they want to have genetic testing. However, it's important to know that you can meet with a genetic counselor to discuss the implications of genetic testing in order to make a decision that's right for you. Genetic, genetic testing is a personal decision. My job is to make sure that you have all the information you need in order to make an appropriate decision of whether you want to have genetic testing or not. Genetic counseling is important for individuals to determine whether the amyloidosis in their family is hereditary or whether it is more consistent with wild type amyloidosis, which is not passed on in families. Additionally, genetic counseling can be important to discuss the implications of genetic testing in terms of life planning, family planning, and learning what type of mutation is in your family. Additionally, there are other implications of genetic testing. For example, there are federal laws that prevent genetic discrimination for employability and life insurance. However, those laws do not apply for life insurance, long-term care, and disability insurance. For those reasons, some individuals choose to obtain those insurances prior to undergoing genetic testing. It's also too important to think about the life implications before you undergo genetic testing and how this could affect relationships within the family. A common question that I often get from patients is if I have the mutation that causes the amyloidosis within my family, will I develop the signs and symptoms of this condition? The answer is maybe or maybe not. Some individuals who carry a mutation never develop any signs or symptoms of the condition. Therefore, a mutation is considered to be a predisposition to amyloidosis. Additionally, not all family members will exhibit the same symptoms or develop symptoms at the same ages. Some individuals wonder when the best time for genetic testing can be. It is important to recognize that amyloidosis is an adult onset condition, and therefore we do not test individuals under the age of 18 for this condition. It is important for each individual to make a decision for themselves of whether they want to know their genetic status or not. This process is important to include a genetic counselor like myself, so each individual has all the information they need to make this decision. Mayo Clinic treats many individuals with a diagnosis of amyloidosis every year, and we are home to many experts within the field. Here at Mayo Clinic, we strive to provide a team-based approach to provide the best possible care for all of our patients. If you would like more information about hereditary amyloidosis or to schedule an appointment, please call or visit the website on your screen.